I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Quiptic crossword, um, posted last Sunday night. So supposedly this is an easier crossword, more suitable for beginners. So if you've come across my videos and want to try cryptic crosswords yourself, maybe this will be a, a good one to start with. So go to the Guardian and their crossword section and then uh, try this cryptic. Let's see, one across, kilts set in motion as they get sent flying in alleys. Well, the in motion suggests we have to anagram kilts set. And when you see strange words put together like that, you should also be thinking of an anagram. And then what gets sent flying in a bowling alley would be uh, skittles. So let's put that in. Uh, I'll go to the one down since we have the starting S. Dignified meeting of lovers under superbly elegant covers. Wow. So, um, ah, yeah. Superbly elegant. Their covers could be their first letters, so S-E. And then a meeting of lovers is a date. And that gives us a date meaning dignified. Not the um, first definition of sedate I would have thought of, or the first synonym, but anyway, I think that's right. Uh, two down, protect and toughen around top of skull. Um, I'm thinking top of skull is going to be like the covers in one down. That should be the first letter of skull. So... <laughs> Excuse me, perhaps we get a synonym of toughen, put an S inside it, and we get a word meaning protect, beginning with an I, protect. Um, oh, insure came to mind. I don't really, again... I um, wouldn't think of, if anything, I would have thought maybe ensure was to protect, but um, maybe ensure is in protecting your value um, because in your, to in your somebody is to toughen them or to become inured to suffering. Um, so yeah, I suppose that works. Uh, credit. The one who portrayed F. Gump. Six letters. Well, <laughs> I've used a form of this in puzzles I've created myself in the past. I think I may have had it in one of my cryptograms. Tom Hanks, T. Hanks, thanks. So I like that one. Um, Sir Bradley cycled round. Again, I think... Uh, indicates that we have to cycle around the letters of Sir Bradley. Uh, of course, there is a famous British cyclist called uh, Bradley, Bradley something or other, I can't remember his name. Those who got there first. So an anagram of, oh, um, well, I can see beginning with E, early, and uh, early birds, surely is the anagram. Yes, yeah, so, so far this is um, much easier. Of course, if you're brand new to crypto, uh, crypto crosswords, it may not seem so, but I think you, if you do it a few uh, times, you'll, you'll get into it quickly enough. Um, abandons all hope in a spider's web. Abandons. So, yeah, uh, despairs, maybe? Oh, yeah, despairs. 
is a an anagram of a spiders that's good uh, one tip is that if you see the word a in a crossword and it would read the same without the a then that is probably needed for the wordplay as it was in this case um, 11 across christmas dinners immediately with the trky i think of turkeys which doesn't quite fit but when we have no starter the starting letter of no if you put in an n you get turnkeys which was an old name for the uh, people as well as the old prison guards all right let's try the northeast corner come across uh, come across an equal in audition come across is meet but it could also be a word for come across a word for an equal and it means an audition oh there's a six letter yeah um yeah not getting that clears out the white of the eye clears out white of the eye no not getting yeah not not I'm trying to think what you do call the white of the eye I don't think it has and does it have a name there's the iris and the pupil I was trying to see if you could get ocular of the eye um, but no not getting that what should be taken if wise man turns up after party so party is often do and then a wise man could be a mage or a uh, magi and turns up means maybe we have to reverse that word oh no i, I don't think it is actually i think it's um simply dosage a sage is the wise man um, so that's a little uh, probably deliberately trying to throw us off with the turns up uh, but you take your dosage let's try the downs over here uh, by hacking clear top of the chest that's a good uh, surface reading by hacking clear top so I'm sure it has absolutely nothing to do with coughing they want us to think that top of the chest yeah interesting it's a top of the chest not just top of chest would be C but is it TC clear top no and hacking is like computer hacking no not getting it the setter we hear is able to outwardly decry something aesthetically pleasing uh, so when there's a reference to the crossword setter it's often I are me but then we we hear this ah uh, so I think it might begin I I and then to outwardly decry something and again a homonym of that um I mean I'm thinking of eye candy is able 
is can, so I can, and then outwardly decry. Oh, okay, so the outer letters of decry are the D and the Y. That's uh, maybe the most difficult one that I've solved so far. Obviously, the ones I haven't solved are more difficult, um, for me anyway. Does that help us with 14 across intoxicated and given to be overbearing 4-6? Um, overbearing. I wonder if it's something gifted to be overbearing. A word for intoxicated. Uh, could be a slang term. Not thinking of something with I as the second letter. No. Nope. Um, let's try 18. Gaining ranking after draw is announced. Again, it could be a homonym. Gaining. So a draw can be a tie. So maybe something that sounds like tie at the beginning and then a ranking. And then the whole thing means gaining. Hmm. Not sure about that. In the morning, speaking with no sense of right or wrong. Okay. So in the morning is a.m. and speaking is oral. So amoral, no sense of right or wrong. I think that one is easy <laughs> because the definition is pretty clear that it would be amoral. Uh, test size ingredients are the most piquant. How do you say that word? Piquant? Um, Ah, yeah, so it's an anagram of test size, and with the most, you can guess it ends in E-S-T or I-E-S-T. Whoops, so zestiest. I like that clue. Um, let's see, 19 down with that something T. Greatest duty is essentially to lead the largest number. Greatest duty. So is it a word meaning greatest? Duty is essentially, no, not getting that. Yeah, these crossing letters are uh, E and T, not the most useful. Uh, maybe 21 down. <laughs> Characters in Macbeth, nice and traditional. Ah, yeah. <coughs> so this is a hidden clue. Uh, within Macbeth, nice, we have ethnic, meaning traditional, I suppose. So now 27 across ends in a C, which is useful. Enigmatic sweetheart gets drunk with Ernie's other half. Well, of course, it helps to know about uh, Morecambe and Wise, Eric and Ernie. And so I think it's going to end with Eric. Well... Yeah, so maybe a sweetheart gets drunk. So maybe it's an anagram of your um, sweetheart. I'm just wondering if it's... Then maybe also you have to anagram Eric. I don't think so. I think it's just the sweetheart is drunk, meaning anagrammed. Sweetheart, love, dear. What's a word ending in E-R-I-C that means... Enigmatic. Is there a word mysteric? Like mysterious? 
Enigmatic. Yeah, I should be able to get that, but I'm not thinking of it. Let's try 25 across, ending in N. Anesthetized, <laughs> not easy for me to say, foot. Has feeling, but it's lowering. Lowering. Now, whenever I see low, I think of cattle lowing. But can you also say they're lowering? I don't think so. I think it's just lowing. Um, but it's lowering. It's... So maybe it means anaesth anesthetized. Um, what is a word for that? And then foot... No, that's a tricky one. Let's try 20 down. Old cronies abandoned leader and fell into disarray. Um, oh, yeah. So the word cronies leaves its leader, the C, and then an anagram of the remaining letters to mean old uh, senior. So at least that confirms the R. And now this probably ends in I-A-N or I-O-N. I'm thinking I-O-N. Could be I-G-N. No, not... Uh... Oh, um... Sedation... would fit... But that would be, sedation is not anaesth anaesthetized past tense. Foot. Yeah, not getting that. Uh, where have I not looked? Um, listener in tears hits back. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if it could be hidden, a hidden clue, but, um, and then the back may be re reading backwards, but I'm not seeing anything. Of course, listener, we do have ear in there, but listener in tears. Well, that's a four letter or four dash four for either listener or maybe hits back. Uh, no, not uh, getting that one either. Um, oh, I do. Ah, yes, yes. So. I just looked at that and I thought of the expression for overbearing someone who is high-handed. So high meaning intoxicated, and if something is given to you, it is handed to you. So now our by hacking ends O something, A something. Sounds maybe like O-L-A-R. O R A L clear top of the chest. No, still not coming to me, but now my eight down the listener in tears. The second word is E something D something. That's very limited. Listener. At least with the D, I know it's not a hidden clue. Listener. Something ends. I really can't think of anything else that could be. 
Well, uh, 13 down something H, so that should be useful. Messenger is absorbed by game that's fast. Messenger is absorbed by game. Um, of course, game can be an actual game you play, or it could be game as in um, poultry or some meat. Um, I am noticing you could put Hermes the messenger in there. That's fast. Fast can mean speedy, or it can also mean uh, tight. So what else could the messenger be? But I was wondering if it could have... Um, so then what would the game be? Four letters... Veal or duck and meaning fast. No, no. So let's get rid of uh, these for now. What ones have I not looked at? Shelled facility is twisted and sloping. Well, shelled, I'm thinking, is that you remove the outer parts of facility. Well, that would leave A-C-I-L-I-T. And that, can that be then anagrammed, twisted, to make a word that means sloping. It's a lot of I's. A C I L I T. Sloping. No, I'm not getting an anagram of that. Realize. Rubbish left out is not so problematic. That makes me think, oh yeah, so I was thinking something that ends in ER, or again, I-E-R. Um, so easier would be not so problematic. So that is an anagram. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I think realize you rubbish it, meaning anagram it, but take the L for left out, and then you get easier. I think the challenge for people new to cryptic crosswords is, it's, you know, it sometimes seems like there's no rhyme or reason to, you know, where the anagram indicators are, which letters have to be added or removed. And I think then you eventually realize, well, yeah, it is going to vary every time. And so you're really using induction more than deduction. You think of, well, what would a word be meaning not so problematic? And then you work backwards to see how you might get it from the wordplay part. Uh, element found in a cholesterol-reducing drug and vitamin. So again, I see that A there that isn't needed. We could say element found in cholesterol-reducing drug and would read exactly the same. So I think it may, I think the whole thing might mean um, an element. And it might be A... Isn't a, um, a statin a drug for reducing cholesterol? And then the vitamin is vitamin E. 
Is astatine an element? I'm going to pause, look that up, and sip my coffee. Yes, uh, astatine is an element. Atomic number 85, symbol AT, the rarest naturally occurring element. Uh, it has a half-life of eight hours or so. All right, that's useful to get some uh, starting letters. So gaining ranking after draw is a noun, so it's not tie. Is there some other... Um, oh, of course, draw could also be sketch or um, something like that. Gaining, ranking, I think it is going to end in ing, because both gaining and ranking have that ending, and so ranking could be ordering, I don't think adding is ranking. No, um, not sure, but what would that N do for 13 down? Messenger is absorbed by, so it wouldn't be Hermes. Um, messenger is absorbed by game. That's fast. No, still don't get that. How about 24 across? Oh, this was the... Oh, now I... With the starting I, that's all I needed. So sloping as in letters. I'm sure you all got that before I did. Italic. There we go. Uh, 16 down. They learn choral arrangement in two seconds. So I think it's going to be S at the beginning and the end or two seconds, and then an anagram of choral in between, and it's for, yeah, people who learn, namely scholars. That's good. Now, surely that's enough for gaining ranking after draw is announced. Gaining. Um... Securing. No, um, secluding. Uh, let me think about that. Here, let's see. Oh, we haven't looked at this one yet. Pessimistic, for example, in domestic surroundings. Well, the for example could be e.g., which is put inside domestic, and the whole thing means pessimistic. But the only place for that would be here. Pessimistic. Um, and then domestic could end in i.v., i.c.e. Domestic surroundings. Well, nothing comes to mind for that. All right. Um, have I looked at all of them? Here's our white of the eye. Clears out. The white of the eye. I don't know the name for that. Do I? Maybe I do. There's our hacking. Well, this may be easier than a typical cryptic, but uh, still tricky enough. Messenger. Um changeling fits but it doesn't meet the definition or the 
wordplay. That's fast. Probably enigmatic is going to be the easiest one to to get. I'm going to pause again, go through the alphabet, try and think of starting letters, and uh, enjoy the end of my coffee. Okay, I think I have it, but it's very uh, cryptic. Esoteric, I suppose, is somewhat enigmatic. I always think of esoteric meaning more at such a high level, maybe, that it's beyond understanding, but um, I suppose that is enigmatic. And then I think sweetheart is um, very misleadingly put as one word, but I think it's the heart of sweet, which is one of those E's. And then the drunk is a sot with Eric makes esoteric. Wow. So that makes 13 down ending in an S, but I don't think it's a plural word. I think it's um, maybe it ends in... ESS. Oh, it could. Uh, the game could be chess. What would that look like? And then the messenger in the middle would be H something N something E something, and the whole thing would mean fast. I suppose ending in ness or low. Oh. Well, maybe less. Changer, changeness. Yeah, not uh, getting that one. How about our gaining ranking? Anything's coming to me yet? After draw is announced. That certainly seems like a homonym. Draw. Um, no, I think I'm going to go on Paul's while I look back through these, and I will unpause if inspiration strikes. All right, well, I did Google the uh, white of the eye, and apparently it's called the sclera, which is obviously an anagram of clears, but uh, I've never heard of the sclera, or if I have, it went in one ear and went out the other. So that should help me a little bit, I think. Gives us a useful C for by hacking. Oh, ah, so maybe it's uh, by hacking the words clear top, we might get of the chest. Yeah, and um, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, let's use the anagram helper and put in clear top. Shuffle, pectoral, of course, yes, the pectoral muscles. All right, now come across an equal in audition. Um, I know people, actors do an audition, they might make a speech from one of, say, Shakespeare's plays. But I don't see how that is come across. How about our listener in tears hits back? Listener. No, um. No clue what that is. Again, I think I can only think of ends 
hits back. Scurring tears. Nope. Not up. Um, all right, I'm going to go on pause again. Okay, I got another one. Uh, 79 pessimistic, for example. Well, pessimistic. So I was on the right lines. I just couldn't think of the... I'd even put in that EG and it uh, didn't occur to me, but negative. So native for domestic, I suppose, as in native animals or domestic. That should help with um, 18 across. Gaining, ranking, after draw is announced. Can anything come between an S and a C other than a vowel? I don't think so. Yeah, um, so probably SECs, secrending, secrending. Oh boy, I'm uh, not saying anything. How about um, an A? An O? Gaining hardly a U. Oh, succeeding. Ah, yes. Yeah. So I suppose to draw in through a straw, for example, suck. So it sounds like suck. And then ranking is seeding. So after both of those are announced or said, it sounds like succeeding, meaning gaining. Oh, not sure how I feel about that. All right, so now my messenger is, well, I already thought it was ING, so that really didn't give me anything extra. Gain, that's fast. No, I'm going to have to pause again. All right, 13 down. Yeah, so I was um, looking again at this one. I think I had been double counting the H before, thinking the messenger would be in with H, maybe still hung up on Hermes. But I uh, then thinking about what could, if it ended in less, and I thought of changeless. Sure, I'm, I don't know if I've ever heard that word before. I mean, it's obvious what it means. So fast as in steadfast, unchanging, changeless. And so you have angel in the middle of chess. And I suppose, a, you know, an angel can be a messenger. But uh, in certain cases, angels appeared with messages. But... I'm not sure that's a very fair uh, word to use. Maybe even like divine messenger or something like that might have made it a little fairer, I think. If you disagree, let me know down below. So it doesn't really help. I thought this was an E anyway. Let me put in sedation. Um... We can use the check this to see if that is right. I have no idea why that would be right. So let's go ahead and check this. No. Okay, so, but we are right with the T and the O. Um, so maybe it's a word that ha that means lowering. So, um, and maybe it begins with P E D. No, perdition. No, 
How about 19 down? Greatest duty is essentially to lead the largest number. Well, what is the largest number? Well, maybe it ends in EST. And it means the larger but greatest duty. It seems an awful lot of words for just six letter answer. Greatest duty is, I'm wondering too if essentially means we take the middle parts of some words and it means the largest number, no. And then we just have five across, come across an equal. Let me try speech. I mean, I hate using the check this, but just in the interests of making this a, a video under an hour, let's try it. No, okay. Come across an equal in audition. Um, come across uh, appeal. Is that an audition? Maybe in the sense of to have a hearing before somebody could be an appeal. Um, not sure why where the wordplay works. So let's try that. Ooh, come across maybe is. Ah, appear. Okay, so what happened there? We go. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to this. Oh, so in audition, it's a homonym indicator. An equal is appear, and so come across to appear. I don't know about that one. All right, so now our listener. In tears, hits back. Oh, um, hits the back of another vehicle is rear ends. Um, how do we? Okay, so it the listener is ear, and it is in R E N D S, which is tears, not tears. Oh. Yeah, I think I need to learn when I see a word like that that has two meanings and more than that, two pronunciations, not to get misled. You know, we just read that and we immediately think of in tears. Oh my goodness, well, at least we got that. So now it's just the two left. The greatest duty is essentially to lead the largest number. I still don't even know where the definition is for this. Um, and our anesthetized foot as feeling, but it's lowering. Yeah, I think I'm going to give up on these two and click reveal this demotion so that is lowering obviously but how do we get the foot well feeling is a motion how do we get oh it's the foot of that word i can't say is the d and then the feeling and the whole thing, okay. Ooh, so now this looks like uh, the utmost is the greatest number, um, the largest number. So how do we get, oh, so we do have the middle of duty is the UT. Oh, so greatest is the definition, okay. Greatest is utmost, where the duty essentially 
and then it leads the largest, which is the most, or the largest number of most. Um, okay. So um, let's check all. Looks like everything else is correct. All right, well, supposedly the it's easier than a regular cryptic. I found it just as difficult in places. Um, but maybe on a, another day I would have found it a bit easier, but on another day I also might have really struggled with it. Anyway, hope you enjoy that. Thank you for watching and have a great day.